Today, we're excited to introduce Jam for Customer Support, which allows you to request screen recordings from customers directly in Intercom and then create the perfect bug report with all the technical details your engineers need to actually fix the issue. Over 140,000 users have used Jam to fix 4 million bugs faster, and now we're so excited that you can get these perfect bug reports now from your customers as well. We've been using this ourselves the past weeks, and honestly, it saved us so much time that we would otherwise spend asking follow-up questions and trying to reproduce customers' problems on our machines. You can now get this information directly from the source and capture all the relevant technical details that otherwise get lost. Let me show you, it works like this. First, you will request a screen recording in Intercom. Next, your customer is gonna be prompted to record their screen. When they're done, you're going to see the Jam link in your intercom conversation. You'll see here, this has the screen recording, but also all the technical information. It has console logs, network requests, metadata from intercom, like user email and user ID. It has device and browser information. It essentially has everything you would need to fix the bug. We're not quite done. From here, you can create the perfect ticket in your issue tracker, whether it's Jira, Linear, or any of our other integrated apps. Pretty cool, right? Now I'll show you how to get it set up. Get things started from the team workspace in your Jam dashboard. Here under user jams, you're gonna see an option to connect to intercom. After this, you're gonna see Jam in your intercom apps and you can pin it to your sidebar. A pro tip is you can drag it to the top here so it's more accessible next time you need it. This has been one of our most requested features for so long. So I know I speak for the team when I say we're so excited to share it with you today. Thanks again for watching. We'd love to hear what you think about this new feature. And lastly, if you haven't already, go to that Jam dashboard to get started for yourself.